Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna create a beautiful Despicable Me 3 logo text in After Effects and Element 3D. Hello guys, again from Alessia TV. Today we're gonna make this beautiful Despicable Me 3 logo text in After Effects with the help of Element 3D, which is not free but is a paid plugin from Video Copilot. So the first thing we need to do is jump into our 3D software and uh, write this text, which is Despicable Me. We need to make sure that every single letter is a separate object and also it's triangulated in order for Element 3D to read it properly. This would allow us to also have UVs as well and have them in separate folders and separate layers. So also we need to make sure that we have the number three need to be exported as well as a separate object. So now we're gonna export all our letters in, in the software and also make sure that every single letter has a different material applied in order to have them in separate layers as well. So after this, we're going to export them in our desktop or in our video copilot folder. We can jump straight into After Effects, create a new composition and rename it Main Comp and use 1920-1080 as a preset. We're going to create a new solid and make it white. Create a another solid and make it black. The white one is gonna be our background and the black one is gonna be our element 3D, which we're gonna select it, we're gonna open it and we're gonna browse until we find our 3D Despicable Me text. We import it into the scene with the default settings. We drag it up a little bit just to make sure it's above the plane, the Y plane is in positive because we need to make a reflection as well. We're gonna check the materials and we're gonna just select one and change it to orange. And then we're gonna drag and drop the same material to all the other materials in the scene. We're gonna press okay. And we're just gonna check the scene in After Effects. I'm gonna go in group one. We can scale, we can rotate and we can move the object as, as much as we want. Now we're gonna place it in the middle of the scene sort roughly as as we like and we're gonna rename it despicable me we're gonna rename the white background as background we're gonna jump back into element 3d and we're going to and we're gonna create a plane which we will need for our reflection we're gonna scale it a little bit on the x and also in z just as much as it's gonna be not visible, the lines is not gonna be visible in, uh, in After Effects. After this, we need to go into the material settings and we're gonna look for the reflectivity. And we're gonna turn mirror surface in the mode, in the reflective mode. Then we're gonna scroll down until we find matte reflection. So the plane will disappear, but the reflection will stay. And here's the outcome and it looks pretty good so far. And then we're gonna jump back into Element 3D, we're gonna duplicate our layer, and then we're gonna turn off everything except the E, and then in the duplicate, we're gonna do the opposite. So we have the despicable M and the E separated. Then we're gonna create a group. We can animate that separately. So we need to fix the anchor point by just selecting Y on the keyboard and moving the cursor in X and now we can spin around the, the letter E. We're gonna go back into element 3D and we're gonna import the number three. We're gonna assign the material and we're gonna put it in a separate group so we can animate that separately as well. We're gonna position it. Just temporarily, I'm gonna put it back in a group and then I'm gonna put it out, out of the group again. We're gonna match the position in After Effects by just copying and paste the position, the scale and the rotation if we have it. We're just gonna drag it a little bit, moving the anchor point, and here we go, it's done. I previously created a camera so we can place it properly and move it around the whole scene and also give it a little bit of perspective. Next thing we need to do is create a light, a point light with these settings, at least for this scene, it's 250 and it looks pretty good. We're gonna move it around and see when it's acceptable to our eyes. Let's move it around a little bit. 
Next, we need to create the shadow in between the plane and our text. So we're gonna create a new solid, call it shadow, make it black. Create a round or oval mask around it. Shrink it down a little bit in Y until it fits, until it suits our sizes, our size in, in the scene. We're gonna feather it a little bit, quite substantially. We're gonna make it 3D and we're gonna rotate it until it matches the plane. And then we're gonna put it behind the, the logo and we're gonna put the opacity down a little bit. And then we're gonna make some tweaks here and there. And it looks pretty okay. I forgot to mention that we need to go back into Element 3D and duplicate the Despicable M because that needs to be separate because we need to animate it together, the Despicable and the M. Once we have the Despicable M and the E and the 3 separate, then we can start the animation process. What we're gonna do is create a new null object, which will be our main to move and animate the Despicable M and E. We're gonna parent with the pick whip, the E and the main. Now we can move that around, we forget we need to make it 3D. And now we can move it around. And here we have the Despicable Me moving all together. So we can start our animation process right now. Also, don't forget to parent the shadow as well. And here you have it. Let's not forget that we need to shorten the timeline a little bit. Let's say around three seconds. Then we move away the main text, the whole text. We're gonna create an animation from left to the center of the main logo. And then we're gonna move the keyframe at the end. And then we're gonna go at the beginning and move it back so that we have our animation. Of course, it's really, really slow right now. So we need to move back the, the last keyframe and put it like way back so it will be more uh, fluent and, and and faster let's put it around here probably still too slow but let's see how it goes yes it's still very slow so we're gonna put it back a little bit more we're gonna easy ease the keyframe so it will be even smoother and we're gonna go into the graph editor and tweak a little bit the curves so give a little bit more dynamics and I think it looks pretty good so far. The animation looks really smooth. And now we can animate the E. Um, what we need to animate in this one is the orientation Y. We have to make a spin. So we're gonna create a keyframe right there. And then we're gonna create another keyframe and we're gonna set the rotation to three. And let's make it spin. We need to select the keyframe as well and easy ease as well. And we're gonna open the graph and make it a little bit faster at the beginning and slower at the end. And there we go. Um, now, we need to do the same thing for the number three. So what we're gonna do is just gonna copy and paste the keyframe exactly as they are. And then what we're gonna do to blend those two together, we're gonna work with the opacity of the two layers. So they will blend perfectly together. But in order to do that, we need to go back in Element 3D and duplicate our layer again and do the same thing in After Effects. So we're gonna be able to work with E and 3 separately with both opacity. So this is how it goes. We're gonna press T for opacity. We're gonna create a keyframe more or less in the middle. When the E is 100%, the 3 is gonna be zero. And then, when E is gonna be zero, three is gonna be 100%. We're gonna move around a little bit the animation keyframes until we get it right. We're gonna, we're gonna ease, ease, and this is the final result. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Consider to subscribe if you like the video or if you want to comment below and ask for more videos. Uh, give it a like if you like it, of course, and uh, Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.